All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Chachurash. Uh, double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk with them, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another uh, video through the Spirit. All right, I was listening to, uh, and I got another video uh, ready to go. Uh, I was listening to the Apostle stream uh, from Saturday. You know, and they were bringing up the fact of, uh, in the movie The Matrix, when Morpheus introduced the red pill and the blue pill uh, to Neo, and he chose to take uh, the red pill, alright? And then recently, I had also, uh, you know, watched the, uh, the Avengers, what is that shit? The, the first part of the Infinity War, alright? And I remember, you know, dealing with the scenes... With Thanos, him using uh, the reality stone, which just so happened to be red. Alright, so basically the point of this video, you know, uh, hey, make sure you're in reality, alright? Don't don't fall back asleep, you know, snap out of it, wake up, alright? Remember, uh, let me get this real quick. You know, remember what this world truly is about, alright? Because the rest of the people in this world, man, these people are asleep. You know, they're looking, it's 2020, they're looking for 2040. But a person in their right mind, a person whom the scales has been removed off of their eyes, you should know damn well what time we're in, all right? And don't take that blue pill, all right? Uh, hey, and the true, uh, because you, you have uh, the red pill movement, you know, uh, MGTOW and whatnot, people who, uh, you know, men going their own way. But the true red pill is the knowledge of these scriptures, all right? This is the true uh, reality, all right, and just like how Thanos, hey, he was able to, hey, look, if you ask me, well, the reality stone is all that you needed, uh, you didn't need, a, <laughs> all you need is the reality stone, because you could, you could alter everything in existence with that, and honestly, hey, look, now that we know what's really going on, hey, if we're a part of the house of David, right along with David, we have the keys to the kingdom now, all right, we can see what's truly going on, we know who this devil actually is, we can see behind the mask, we can see uh, in the dark of the shadows, all right, we can see under the crepes of rocks, all right, we can see up at the tops of these hills, we know what the hell is going on, all right, Revelation, I mean, Romans chapter 13, verse 11, it says, and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed, all right, so it's time to a, be awake, all right, as Jake say, uh, stay woke, you know, retarded nigga, stay woke, nigga, you know, <laughs> uh, Jake will uh, walk by, you know, they fist in the air, but that's, hey, it's true, all right, except the, hey, don't, you know, we, we live our life uh, up until the return uh, of our Lord, we have to wake up and go to work, you know, you may have a family, you know, you, you got your wife, you know, you you spend time uh, with your woman, you spend time with your kids, you know, you go to work, you make plans for certain things, but ultimately you have to have the foresight of this kingdom, all right? You have to, hey, even if you have to catch yourself, you know, hey, I was, uh, you know, shit, because brothers, you got brothers, you might be saving up to get you a new car, or you may be saving up, you want to, you know, have a better uh, living arrangement, you know, or uh, changing up your diet because you want to lose some pounds, you know, but ultimately... You have to remember that we're not going to be here per, uh, permanently, all right? We don't have to worry about a 401k, all right? That's the mirage. That's the image that Esau set up to keep these people blind and dumb, all right? That's that sheet. That's the uh, that sheet covering the Wizard of Oz, like in the movie, all right? We don't have to worry about those things, all right? Now, don't let yourself get fat and out of shape, all right? Make sure you have a stable job and some transportation. But all in all, that's not where all of our tokens are should be poured into, all right, let me get uh, this real quick, you know, hey, sometimes you got to catch yourself, you know, we can't get too far invested in this world, let me see, let me see, where's that, Con, Hebrews chapter uh, 10, verse, I'm going to start at 38, matter of fact, yeah, I just started 38, it says, now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall not shall have no pleasure in him. All right, what's that drawing back? Taking the blue pill, you know, going accepting the lie. All right, when you uh, 
you know, the the one scene, uh, Thanos, he had a, uh, he was pretending like he had it appear to where he was arguing with somebody, you know, and those a uh, bunch of uh, <laughs> the galaxy, the Guardians of the Galaxy, those bunch of idiots, you know, they was sitting there about to try to go in. Hey, look, he made uh basically, I remember the scene when he was making that disappear, the guy that he was interrogating, you know, even that was fake. You know, he waved goodbye. Hey, look, don't. Your friends in this world, they're not truly your friends, all right? Basically, to, to explain what I'm trying to say, they were going there thinking they're going to go help somebody, and that person didn't even exist, all right? And such is the case in this world. Man, these people are set for the destruction. These people, their life, the Heavenly Father already has a plan for these people to get destroyed. So what is there to draw back to? What is there to go back to, all right? Well, you going fully, uh, you know, we had the dude here, uh, Kevo, who he basically left the truth so he could get his marriage back, you know, so he could get his relationship back together and and be the dad for his kids, all right? What what is there to go back to? These people are sold to death. We are sold and bought for the blood of Yahweh Shai, Lord willing. These people are bought bought and sold and paid for of death and destruction. So what is there to turn back to? That's why we're supposed to live by faith, verse thirty nine. But we are not of them. Who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So don't go back to sleep. All right, fight. God damn it. The hey, there's nothing. You know, taking the figuratively speaking, taking the red pill is going to be a fight, because now that you know what's going on, you have to continue to live in a state of defense. All right, you can't let certain thoughts creep back in. You can't let let certain mannerisms. Uh, come back. So we're always in a constant battle. Hey, when you're asleep, you're not fighting. You sleep. So these people, they're not fighting. They get to live their life. They get to live their best life. If a dude want to get up and go be a faggot, he get to go be up and be a faggot. Let all the demons float through his body freely. All right. If a uh, a woman wants, she want to go get up and go be a whore, she gets to go get up and be a whore and do whatever comes to mind. But we can't be like that. We have to choose. Uh, what is that? The road uh, less taken. All right. So we can't draw back unto perdition, uh, meaning destruction. All right, so let me get uh, this real quick. We can't let that... Uh, let me get this. <clears throat> we can't let that old nature return. We have to fight it off. All right. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Con, perfect. Colossians 3, and, ooh, yep, Colossians 3 and 8, hey, and it was, hey, look, the same way that, you know, Morpheus, he gave Neo the choice, all right, he said, look, hey, you can stay asleep, or like the apostle said, because he has said it in the movie, you want to see how far this rabbit hole really goes, all right, and that's what you, first coming in, like the one scripture says, hey, you need to count if you, uh, or basically count the cost. Because if you're not about this, then, you know, leave now while you still have time. All right. Colossians 3 and 8, it says, but now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication of your mouth, which the people of this world do daily because they're asleep. They don't know any other alternative. All they see is darkness. Their eyes are blind. Their ears cannot hear, nor can their hearts understand but we can see all right imagine literally imagine being in a dark black cave with night vision goggles and everybody else in the world is just wandering around bumping head against the, against each other bumping heads against the rock tripping they just get bad they just walk around aimlessly we're in the in the dark cave with night vision goggles and we can see a light at the end of the tunnel and now we're headed towards it and we have to keep moving you can't stop you can't turn around you can't take the goggles off all right, if you slip on a rock, get the fuck back up. That's the time that it's that we're in. We can't walk around aimlessly banging our heads against bricks anymore. All right, verse 9. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, and put on the new man, Salakia, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. All right, so we have to put on the new man now, all right? The new knowledge and wisdom and understanding uh, which we have gotten from these scriptures. We no longer 
we're on a different standard now. We're on a different pedestal. That's why it tells you in uh, Matthew, uh, or is it, uh, yeah, uh, basically, you know, now that we know everything that we know, you know, if you were to fall back into perdition, you'll be beaten with more stripes. Compared to those who don't know, they'll be beaten with less stripes, all right? So it doesn't behoove you in any way, shape, or form to go back and turn to the blue pill, all right? Keep that reality stone on at all times, all right? You know, there's the, the uh, I'm going to have one of the pictures up, you know, one side when Thanos was there, it was all nice and pretty, but on the other side, you get the, you saw the true world, all right? You see the real ready, the nitty gritty of this bitch. The police is corrupt. These laws is corrupt. Almost everybody is a homosexual. Hey, look, most, hey, look, if you're not in this truth, I'm automatically going to assume you some sort of uh, deviant. You got dudes out here that, <laughs> you got dudes that like getting a, uh, 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 a dude to be straight, but he'll let his woman play with his butt. All right, Kanye West, you know, he got out, he got uh, outed as being one of them type of dudes. All right. This is the food is uh, destroyed. The air we're breathing is polluted. Keep these shades on, all right? Like in uh, this is one of my favorite movies, They Live. You got to keep those shades on, even if it costs you your life. Like it costed uh, uh, our man's, his life at the end of the movie. But guess what? He still got the victory, all right? When he sent off that, uh, for brothers that don't know what I'm talking about, go watch that movie, They Live. And I know I, I spoiled it a little bit, but hey, oh well. You know, it's, it's one of the best movies out there, all right, at least concerning, uh, you know, showing corruption in the world, all right, hey, and he still got the victory in the end, and so are we, Lord willing, all right, now let me get this, and I'll close it, you know, this is going to be a real quick, uh, real quick video, just had to uh, hop on it, you know, the, the elders and the apostles going in about it, this is Revelation chapter 2, I'm going to start at Uh, I'll start at 1, Revelation 2 and 1. It says, Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So the angel was speaking to one of the churches, uh, which was Ephesus. It says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, and how thou cannot, canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. And has borne and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. So the angel is speaking to a church, you know, letting them know, you know, I, I know what you're about. You know, you did all these things in righteousness. But verse 4, it says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. So verse 4 and 5 lets you know that, hey, we can't forget our first love. Ain't don't ain't no turning to the blue pill. Ain't no going back to the world. Oh, man, you know what? Man, I, I'm, I'm going to just take a year off from the truth. I just need to get my mind right. I want to uh, I'm gonna go on some vacations with my family. Hey, we don't get to, we don't have that luxury. All right, we're in the middle of a war zone. There's no, there's no, uh, Excess leisure time in the middle of a war zone. All right, not saying if you go on like a, you know, you go out of state for the weekend or for a week, that doesn't make you wicked. But if you if you finna go on a, a, a six month hiatus, no videos, no contact with the Occam, uh don't nobody know where you're at. They that's not the spirit to be in, and that's what this church was being reminded. You know, whatever they had started lacking in, you know, probably you know going out there pushing the word and being diligent. Hey, Yahweh Shai was letting them know, look, if y'all don't get back on the grind, if you don't stay, wake the fuck back up, you know, you're going to be destroyed. All right. Hey, so that's, you know, the point of this message. Hey, don't stay in reality. Don't go back to sleep. Don't go back to this My Little Pony world, this little soft ass, weak, you know, they tell you that this is the land of the free, yet you have, there's speed limits, there's, you got to have a seatbelt on. You got to have a card, for, a registration for this, a registration for that. You got to pay this bill. You got to pay that bill. All right. And even in their own constitution, this tells you that you're supposed to be able to move uh, freely. There isn't supposed to, honestly, there's not supposed to be speed limits. All right. And there's not supposed to be uh, DUI checkpoints either. 
All right, that uh, DUI checkpoints are uh, directly against the Constitution. That's why a lot of them, uh, they stop doing a lot of them. Like I know here in Michigan, I don't believe we uh, have have them because I've never encountered any. All right, but there's been a lot of people who sued against them and won on that fact that that's against the Constitution. All right, so this world is a bunch of sham and a bunch of lies. So what is there to go back to? All right, absolutely nothing. All right, so stay, like Jake B. saying, stay woke. <laughs> Alright, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechak Kurash, Devonish to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wa Akwatim, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.